Hey gents, I've been on testosterone replacement therapy for five years now, and I just had a sperm analysis done. I've been always within the, within the physiologic range, so typically between 700 and 1,000 nanograms per deciliter, and I inject every other day, so that's pretty much throughout the entire week. It's not my trough at the end of the week where my peak is really, really high. And I just did a sperm analysis, so let's take a look. I'm not going to make you guys wait. Days, since, uh, days of abstinence, four, so I hadn't whacked it in four days. Um, they collected my entire sample, which means I didn't miss the bucket. Uh, total volume, 3.3 milliliters. Total sperm count is 0 million. Total modal uh, count of sperm is 0 million. Concentration, 0 million per milliliter. Motility, 0%. 0%, 0%, 0%, non-applicable. So I am infertile because of testosterone replacement therapy. Now, did I have a plan uh, to in case I wanted a kid? Yes, I did. And uh, I went in a, in a deep dive in a video on how to maintain, restore, and preserve fertility on testosterone replacement so you can make a wise decision before getting on testosterone replacement about you know if you want to have a kid soon, later, or, or way down the road um, so that you're not screwed if you want to have a kid and you kind of change your mind or whatever. So uh, go watch that video if you want a comprehensive detail. Uh, it's very research-based and, and research-guided. However, uh, my plan was to use HCG. So I would back off of testosterone replacement completely, and then I would blast HCG, um, which, would, which is very effective at restoring fertility. And I would use that in the short term to get my wife or girlfriend, most likely my wife, pregnant. And then I would get off of HCG and back on testosterone replacement therapy. So this is a well-founded way of temporarily restoring your fertility if you want to get your wife pregnant. Now, the unfortunate side of this is there was a curveball. And so I wish I froze my sperm back in the day. I still, I don't know if I want kids or not, you know, uh, now destiny has chosen for me, but um, I should have frozen my sperm. So now it's kind of something that I would recommend to everybody is to freeze your sperm in case you want to do in, virtual, in vitro fertilization, because I got a curveball, which was autoimmune encephalitis. And autoimmune encephalitis is something that I don't want to fuck with because I've spent uh, the past three years digging out of this hell of autoimmune encephalitis, a rogue immune response that causes inflammation and damage to the brain. And there are triggers that can cause a flare up or a relapse. And when your immune system is pretty uh, unsteady after you've been put into remission, I would hate to do anything that puts me in a relapse more than anything. Uh, I, I would, it would be a fucking nightmare. And so testosterone itself is immunomodulatory, so I can't go on, I can't go on blast anymore um, at the risk of causing a relapse. And uh, HCG increases testosterone significantly, and as well, it, it increases intratesticular aromatization more than testosterone itself, which is also immunomodulatory. So there are concerns there about using blasting HCG at high dosages while coming off of testosterone. It, it fluctuates your hormones all over the place and could perhaps risk a flare or a relapse of my autoimmune encephalitis. So my plan of using HCG down the road is kind of kaput. And what options do I have now? Basically none, um, which is uh, unfortunate, I guess. But after this whole experience, I'm not sure if I want kids anyway. But uh, so now I'm kind of like anybody who's thinking about getting on testosterone replacement therapy, you don't know what life is going to throw at you coming down the road. So I would freeze your sperm before you get on testosterone replacement in case you need to use IVF um, and and uh, plan on using HCG. Maybe, you know, you can use HCG, HCG alongside testosterone replacement or use HCG to restore uh, your fertility. Some people just don't like to use HCG alongside TRT because it causes additional side effects. So they'd rather wait uh, down the road to get off testosterone and blast HCG for a short period to get their wife or girlfriend pregnant. But I would always recommend to freeze your sperm for the possibility of IVF in case something like this, however unlikely, comes down the road and, and um, makes it uh, impossible for you to conceive. And if you if you don't use start ACG right away, yes, there's a high likelihood that you can restore your fertility using ACG alone or ACG plus uh, serum or other um, fertility agents, but it's not a guarantee either. So. Nothing's a guarantee. Even with using HCG alongside testosterone replacement therapy, there is some risk of downregulation of the LH receptors in the testicles, which would lead to HCG being less effective over time. Now, could you take a break and kind of cycle HCG? Maybe. But again, nothing is guaranteed. So with nothing guaranteed, as far as fertility on TRT goes, I would always advise to freeze your sperm. And I'm a prime example of someone who should have frozen their sperm. Um, however, 
I have one lucky thing. Uh, I'd feel kind of uncomfortable doing it, but my um, twin brother has frozen his sperm before he got a testosterone replacement therapy, like a smart kid. And we have uh, identical DNA. Now there's been, you know, your DNA can change over time. But um, as far as sperm goes, the genetic component is uh, mute. It's a mute point uh, between what my sperm would be and his sperm. So I could use his sperm for in vitro IVF with my wife. Um, I would feel relatively uncomfortable with that um, just because it's like my brother's son, you know, and it's just, it, feel, it would feel weird. Um, so that I, if I ever really, really, really wanted a kid, that's what I would do. Uh, at this point in my life, I really don't think I will be interested in having kids. I just don't have the capacity anymore to do that. I'd rather pursue other passions for my life. And uh, not to mention, I'm not married right now anyway. Um, anyway, so yeah, that's it. I just want to show you guys that uh, when you get on testosterone replacement, you got to be prepared because it can cause infertility. And I'm a prime example of that because I'm currently infertile. <laughs> okay. Hope that was informative or interesting to you guys. And I'll uh, talk to you guys later. Peace out, brothers. So when